I'm Tim Preeves. I'm a strategic account manager with Brain Corporation, working with our largest customers to help them implement automation using robotics. All, any retailer that operates at scale has you know, what is termed or what we term a reality gap. And that's the difference between what the state of their store and shelves, what they believe the state of their store and shelves is, and what it actually is. Uh, you've heard of the adage of people, process, and technology, and applying them to solve business problems. But each of those you know, levers has limitations. People make mistakes, it's human nature. Uh, you know, processes have to be adhered to, procedures have to be adhered to, and often that, that's difficult to manage and monitor at scale uh, for retail organizations. And finally, technology. Uh, technology has limitations as well. Most notably in the retail environment, it's on the timing of, of when decisions are made based on technology and the gap between when the decision is made and when it's actually fulfilled and executed. Despite large and significant investments in technology, uh, there are gaps that exist in a retailer's data. Um, you know, their, their, da their decisions they make are only as good as the data in their system. Uh, and oftentimes, uh, the small differences at a SKU store level when you operate at scale add up to be substantial and be significant. Um, you know, a couple examples are, number one is, you know, phantom inventory. It's, it's, you know, where a retailer believes they have inventory when in fact they don't have inventory. And so they do not generate orders and the orders are not fulfilled therefore resulting in further out-of-stock situation. Um, another, on the flip side of that, it's really inventory that they have that they don't think they have. And a lot of uh, you know, automated replenishment systems will actually generate negative on hands if you actually scan that register for inventory that you don't show that you have. And when, you, when inventory goes negative, it also, in many cases, will not generate future orders, which further exacerbates the problem. The underlying cause of these, this gap is, is often not solved with technology or process. Um, many times it shrink due to theft, due to damage, due to lost, misplaced product or expired product. It's also due to a lack um, of rigorous procedures or adherence to procedures and process. Uh, that's human nature. And that's difficult to manage and monitor at scale. And finally, it's due to customer behavior. Customers move things in stores. And so oftentimes the product may be in the store, but it's not where it's supposed to be. And so it comes across as a stock out to the customer. It's a customer stock out, in other words. Warehouses also face the same issues, though it's just not as prevalent. Uh, they're much more controlled environments. Uh, but there's still gaps in the process, and, and oftentimes this is where there's a handoff between operators uh, or people and automation. Uh, and so while those issues are less prevalent in a warehouse environment, uh, they do still exist, They're, but they are often identified prior to shipment. But that's at the expense of rework. And so really these issues manifest themselves in rework uh, in the process, which basically is labor and expense. Um, also, they still are subject to the same issues in terms of you know, operator behavior uh, as a retail store may be as well. So you will still have these issues in a warehouse, although uh, they are certainly a lesser magnitude and more easily controlled and identified. Robots help close the reality gap uh, in, a, in several ways. Uh, the first one is really um, accuracy. Um, the ability to accurately identify inventory positions, to accurately identify you know, shelf pricing. Um, you know, is the price reflective of, the, of what the price should be? Uh, and promotions, promotion compliance. Uh, is the promotion um, identified? Is it visible to the customer? Um, in addition to providing those benefits, the, the key of, that robots really help with is the consistency of application, right? It's a consistent process, it avoids human error, and it can be con deployed consistently at scale across a retailer's enterprise. And then finally, the timeliness of the data. Uh, by being able to uh, basically capture the data you know, on a frequent basis, um, it really helps retailers kind of establish something called ground truth, which really is the state of their shelves and their operation uh, in the store. Just as the reality gap manifests itself at scale, uh, deploying robots uh, has to be operationally feasible at scale. At BrainCorp, we have over 35,000 robots uh, in the field, so we really have the expertise to help customers understand how to deploy a robotic automation solution at scale. I think customers really appreciate the fact that we're not trying to automate for the sake of automation that we really take a customer-centric approach. We're interested in understanding the problem and solving the problem together. We look at robotics with our customers as a journey. It's not a destination. It's an innovation journey that we take together. 
and I, the feedback I've received from customers is that they really appreciate the way we look at the end-to-end -end process, including their total cost of ownership in an automation solution, and helping them understand what that means for their business.